If it's not a pharmacist, then what will it be? When are you quitting pharmacy, Lin? Quitting pharmacy? <gasps> that was the question that my fellow pharmacist asked me yesterday. I was shocked. I was thinking, what if that scenario does happen? If it's not pharmacy, then what would be suitable for me? In this video today, I will be sharing with you my long-term plans that I decided to do in terms of when I want to go in live and how do I pursue that dream job? How that my dream job have changed over time? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name's Lin. I am an overseas student from Vietnam. I'm using this channel to share all of the learning and the challenges that I face in this journey of discovering what is my dream job, what I am passionate about. And for me, 10 years ago, if you ask me, it was all about pharmacy. It was eat, sleep, pharmacy and repeat. I wanted to become a pharmacist so badly. Then I started working full time and I get to move from different sector, from community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, outpatient pharmacy. I haven't tried GP pharmacy yet, but I guess that's some things that I should try in the future. And I'm so glad that I have the option to do so with the flexibility that I have working as a local pharmacist right now. I can schedule my shift so that it fit my circumstances and hopefully in this time I will be able to figure it out what is it that I really passionate in. Hopefully I can share that with you guys in this channel so that if you are at that stage in your life when you want to expose yourself to new challenges that you think that you no longer learn anything at work and you want to venture out and push yourself and try out many other things then hopefully this video is for you. Currently I am living the dream that I had 10 years ago and now as I'm working as the local pharmacist I see my fellow pharmacists have to induce enormous amount of stress due to inadequate staffing, strict target and the lack of support from senior management. Not so much for me now because I am a local but for those that are working full time there's always constantly deadline that and that got me into thinking this was one the dream. How come that dream, the reality of it that we're facing, doesn't look like what I wanted? Especially in community setting, you end up taking the work home, you end up working, putting yourself at risk to work in inadequate staffing level. That was once the dream, but that dream is no longer suitable for a lot of us. That dream have drained us and it's just reflecting on this time last year, I was in the same boat at those fellow pharmacists. I was taking work home, I was being in tears, uh, dealing with staff management, all of the gossiping at work. Life was so challenging, it was all about work. There was no work-life balance in between and I know for sure that is, that is not sustainable. Forget about the dream job. This job is actually damaging uh, health physically and mentally and that is not sustainable. And just like we are sitting on a plane and listening to the safety measurements that all the aircraft are telling us that if we are going through an emergency you have to put oxygen mask in yourself first. I think they're much more of the pressure in community setting. I mean confirming from my experience in hospital you also have that pressure but not as much as if you are a community pharmacist. So if money is not an object, what would be your dream job? What is your idea day will be like? Again, it will be different to everyone. Start reverse engineer your life. Begin with an end in mind. And I guess there is no setting stone. Like as I said, mentioned before, the task, the dream job that I had for myself 10 years ago, and I was visualizing that, I, yes, I want to be a, a hospital pharmacist. I want to be able to attend ward round and to be able to attend multidisciplinary team to work with doctors, nurses, physiotherapists to make a small impact into a patient journey of recovering and now my dream is to be able to have as much flexibility as possible so that I can get to visit my family whenever I want to go traveling expanding my horizon so circumstances will change you will change so trying to figure out what is it that's your dream job what is it composed what skills required in order to, for you to carry out that dream job and then break it down into individual steps and try to practice it to get better because again whatever the dream job it will be it will require specific skill and just referring to the Almanac of Narrow Ravikant and he suggests us to find our 
specific knowledge because if we just learn and know if we just think about going to university and trying to get a degree and if they can train us they can train somebody else and that makes us replaceable so trying to figure out what is it that your dream job that will make you feel good about yourself whatever the job whether you are a pharmacist or whether you are a full-time worker and you get to do it be in a row when you feel like you are not learning anything new in your job maybe it's a time for you to question that I signed up to another degree make a change I want to make a fresh start in my life and study a different degree then I want you to think about it very carefully because we are so lucky that we can learn anything any skill that you want online I just managed to pay my tuition fee I should be willing to sign up to another debt if you are in that boat maybe it's about time for you to take into further consideration whether it's worth it to take into further debt because we are so lucky that we can learn anything on the internet personally I used to have to pay overseas student which is significantly more than home student but if to make it simple we can just compare it get to pay home student fee like 9,250 pounds per year and if you think about it that is divided by 12 months and um, that would be equivalent just thinking my average hourly rate is 30 pounds an hour that would be equivalent with 25 hours a month and that I should really be taking that time off to focus into studying a degree equivalent that I could be easily access on Skillshare on brilliance on Udemy it's like an infinity pool of information that we can study the resource is abundant but the time is scared we that we just lack of time so why not just pay ourselves that time taking 25 hours a month to take up on new skill and expose yourself networking again with other colleagues other people who following the same and start sharing that knowledge together instead of taking that debt that tuition fee is just a vague calculation but we gotta think about other costs associated with it as well if we want to consider pursuing another degree you know that change needed you know that you want to pursue something different but going back to university is not the only option for us and we need to take that into consideration too this is if you are listening to this video and you are a pharmacist too and you feel like you're not progressing in your job and you want to try out something else different then we already had our backup we can always go back to be a pharmacist so to be brave and challenge yourself and try something else different that's a lesson that I've learned from Neville is that I rather become a field entrepreneur than being a full-time employee for the rest of my life and work hard for 67 years and go into the nursing home and collect your paycheck that projection no longer excites me so i want to try something else different questions that i want to share with you in order to figure it out how should we build a career that we can pursue over a long run the career that get us so excited to constantly learning and challenging and become better of ourselves and also provide the value to many more people so that's it that's all for me today i hope you find these videos useful yes i have all that freedom i have all that flexibility what will be my idea day and figure out planning my life so that i can pursue the dream job i hope that you would find all of the lesson from this video useful thank you very much for listening and i look forward to see you again in the next video take care and goodbye